So Mr. Price Group comes up in this space because it has got a significant sports division, although obviously its main business is Mr. Price clothing and then also some home goods uh, retail activities. I'm not sure what the scale of the business is, but I think it's got about eight or nine big stores and it's perhaps a 10% contributor mm. or something like that. Chantal can tell us in a minute. 45.6 billion rands worth of market cap. Trades on a price to earnings ratio of 17.52 and a dividend yield of 3.61. But it's been a tough time for Mr. Price. They had a bit of a major slip. It was a stock which had done very well. Let's go to the share chart. You can see that's not a five-year chart. Oh, it is a five-year chart. Yeah. So that's what it looks like. Not that happy picture right now. Yeah, there was a bit of a wobble um, during 2015. Mm. Um, at the half year, they delivered uh, disappointing sales mm. numbers. They had some poor fashion calls mm. um, on, on the kids' side and the, mm. and the, the young fashion, the junior fashion side. Um, and then their recent trading update also wasn't amazing. Um, and we've seen the, the share being sold off quite So in a way, what's happened has been like a reverse re-rating. The share price has come down to, you know, kind of in alignment with and reset expectations regarding earnings. Yeah, mm. absolutely. I think the idea was that these guys, when the South African market becomes more saturated, would mm. be capturing growth out of Africa, mm. um, especially Nigeria and Ghana. But mm. we've seen that those economies have slowed down Battle, quite significantly. Yeah and they've been battling to get stock into the stores to actually sell. Mm. Um, and that becomes an issue for a company like Mr. Price, because where's the growth going to come from? As far as the sports division is concerned, they've got basically a, a sort of multi-brand strategy. They sell a few garments that mm. they get from the internationals, but then they also have their own Maxed or Maxed brand, which is where they remanufacture stuff themselves, watching the trends in China. So yeah. that's probably a positive contributor to the whole group. Yes, absolutely. Mm. I mean, if you look at growth um, in the different uh, segments uh, with the last trading update, they were the only seg that, or Mr. Price Sport was the mm. only segment that delivered uh, positive real organic growth. Oh, okay. So um, th it was still strong growth. I mean, top line, 12.1% growth. Mm. It's 10% of, of the company's revenue at the moment, but it, that contribution is growing. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a good little business. Okay, but now if, like we do in our portfolio, you own some uh, Mr. Price, because I like the fast fashion retail sort of space. I thought perhaps people were getting too bearish on mm. the outlook for the South African consumer. What are people supposed to do? Because now it's tumbled. Is it going to come back soon? Do you think it's a, a case where at best it's going to go sideways? There's no real obvious catalyst for the stock, right? Well, the thing is, we've now got a pretty weak base. Mm. So there might be a base effect coming through in terms of growth for next yeah, year, yeah. firstly. Secondly, they still have the lowest price points um, of the South African fashion retailers in the market. So in terms of down trading during a tough consumer environment, Mr. Price will still be mm. um, your go-to destination. That's a good point, because these new arrivals like Zara and H&M and so on, and, you know, they're not as cheap, this clothing. As yeah. It's a different market. It's I mean, more of an international. Absolutely. H&M has done very well to, to make themselves extremely competitive in this space. Mm. But we know that they are taking a lot of strain in terms of profitability. Ah. Um, Mr. Price is just still about 50% on a price point, um, comparably cheaper um, than H&M, which would be that's your stunning. second cheapest that's one. Huge. So mm. you're making it sound as though you're inclined to go hot on this one and tell people to hang in there. Absolutely. Mm. Or, well, not maybe absolutely, but mm. yeah. <laughs> mm. For sure. Okay, so you're going hot. Yes. Excellent. Good.